Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! How to receive power? How to receive the anointing? Number one, directly from God through an encounter. The first platform available for the believer to receive power is directly from God through an encounter. Directly from God through an encounter. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. The first platform for receiving genuine spiritual power. Hallelujah. Thank you for your patience walking with me. You would notice that sometimes I like to help people to get the stresses in scripture. Again, we are going to read the first four words. First four words. Are you ready? One to read. How God anointed Jesus. One more time. One more time. The last time now. Who anointed Jesus? Who anointed Jesus? So it is possible to have an encounter directly. How God anointed Jesus. It's not just that he was anointed. How God anointed Jesus. With the Holy Ghost and with power, and the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God. The same God who anointed him was with him. Hallelujah. Directly from God through an encounter. It is possible that a man can have an encounter are a solid, genuine, Bible-based encounter with God. And with it would come supernatural empowerment. Many of you have heard of my experiences. I've shared some of them. You probably have listened to them. And one of my encounters with Jesus, I know what it means to have an encounter with God and the riches of divine power that flows from that encounter. Solomon had an encounter with God and the Lord asked him, what should I give you? And he cried for an understanding heart and he says, I have given you this and I've also given you what you did not ask for. Riches, wealth and honor such as no man has had and would ever have. And he woke up in the morning if you were Solomon's roommate, you would think you just slept two of you and woke up in the morning, not knowing that something had happened to one person. Hallelujah. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, he stretched forth his right hand and such surge of light and power entered into my being. You would hear me say it and I never get tired of saying it. When I speak these things, I relieve it again. It never grows old. How I did not die is a miracle. Imagine carrying something like an ant and putting it, connecting it to a high tension cable. How in the world do you survive that kind of thing? But this is a miracle of the mercy and the grace of God. Hallelujah. I have not only met him, I have received from him. It is true. Directly from God through an encounter. Number two. The second platform for receiving the anointing is by impartation from genuine carriers of the anointing. Ah, now you pay attention. Please pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. As I just said this, I just sensed a strong, it was like a wind of power just blew in this place. By impartation from genuine careers of the anointing. Sadly and unfortunately, when it has to do with the anointing, um, the body of Christ has suffered its shares of all kinds of things, you know, so many things. 
And we know that God is helping us in the name of Jesus. And there are people out of fear of not being corrupted and contaminated with error or anything demonic or witchcraft, antichrist, have thrown the baby and the bad water and get afraid of any extraordinary manifestation of the power of God. Mm -mm. Everything fake is there simply because there is something real. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Satan depends on the authenticity of the ministry of Jesus to thrive himself. With passion in your heart and with scripture-based direction, you can encounter impartation from genuine careers of the anointing. Genuine careers of the anointing. Matthew 25 from verse 8 and 9. Matthew 25. And the foolish said unto the wise, the parable of the ten virgins, Give us of your oil, for our lambs are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go rather to them that sell and buy. There are them that sell. There are them that sell. The word sell does not mean trade it for money. There are them that sell. Every company has major authorized distribution channels. Is that true? Samsung has its office in Europe, in America, in Africa. There is always the headquarters. But there are authorized distribution channels. You see people rejoice because they have been made the African representative of a particular company. So if you are tired of fake products, one of the ways to authenticate it is to look right from the headquarters. They can direct you. There are usually numbers on their site that tell you if you are in Africa and the environment, this is the authorized place. When you step in there, you can smell there is the seal of authenticity all over that place. You know that this is an authorized distributor. And they'll say, you are welcome, please sit. We are giving you this with a warranty. Go to them that sell and buy. He never said, go to them that sell and take. You don't take the anointing, you buy. But you do not buy it with money. You buy it with humility. You buy it with meekness. These are the currencies that you use to purchase the anointing. You buy it with hunger. You buy it with discernment. Go to them that sell and buy. You may be bankrupt of a particular dimension of grace. But believe me, across the body of Christ, there are them that sell. I have met very powerful and very anointed people and I've had the honor of having them pray for me and you will be amazed I remember one of my encounters with God's servant Bishop David Oedipo the Lord granted me the privilege to go and an instruction to go and sow a seed many years ago and that morning the Lord told me this is the day be on your way and I remember I went, carried my seed, you know, went and did whatever I had to do. And when I was done, in fact, I didn't even get to see him at that time. I just dropped the seed with honor and said, no problem. Another time, God will grant grace. And as soon as I came out, I was going to enter the car. I remember clearly, the Holy Spirit told me to come out of that car. And he said, place your hand on the ground, Canaan land ground on the floor. I placed my hand and he said, from this day, you step into the overflow anointing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Believe me when I tell you there are them that sell. There are them that sell. The challenge is some of, it's not all of them that are popular. It's not all of them that are great. But there are them that sell. For some of you, many of your loved ones who are close to you are part of them that sell. 
It's only that they are too common for you to see how uncommon they are. So you can lose out of what they carry. A woman who did not go to school and raised 11 children without begging. You think that is hard work? No, there is a grace hiding there. If you can discern, you can go to them that sell and buy. It will never tire me to tell of some of these my stories. Years ago in Joss that I met two women. I went to buy sugar cane, pastor. And I met these elderly women and they were about to pay trying to remove, you know, they used to put money and wrap it and tie the thing so that you can't, there's no way you can steal it. Now we use pockets, someone can even remove, you don't know. But those people would tie it to ensure you can't be losing the wrapper and they will not know. And I said, please, 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 I pleaded with them. I said, you are my mothers, please give me an honor to pay for. It was not more than 100 naira. They insisted and I said, please, please, let me do this. And when I did that, they were blessing me, blessing me, blessing me. And for some reason, I didn't pay attention to what they were saying. But one of the women looked at me and said, my son, forever walk upon gold. Go to them that sell and buy. Go to them that sell and buy. We were returning from Ekiti State years ago. I went to preach in Afe Babalola University that year. And while we were returning between Ekiti State and Ilorin, where we would take the flights to come back, we passed a very strange village where people live mysteriously long. And I remember when I was, I was seeing the obituaries. Then I saw one 136 he had just died. I said, what is this? And abroad, they say 114 is the oldest man. They should come and see mantles that are resting on people. So after the whole thing, when the vehicle was going, I told them, stop in that community. I said, no, they have to pray for us. And we didn't find anybody who was really speaking English there. We said, please, who is the oldest man here? We just want to honor him with a seed and have him speak over our lives. Because if you know what God has called you to do, you know the kind of graces you need. Are we together? Finally, we got someone who could speak limited English. And he led us. He said, okay, there's an old man somewhere. And we went and saw the man and we greeted him. We said, we're men of God. We're just passing and we wanted to honor him with a seed and have him pray for us because we discern this long life. And he laughed. He said, kneel down. Those who have this thing, bah, they know they have it. Believe me when I tell you. If you are in doubt whether you have it, you are not the one. Those who sell, it's like somebody who owns, who is an authorized distributor for a company and they're saying they are not sure. No, such as I have, give I. Such as I have. For someone after today, with all humility, you can tell someone such as I have. They say, with this grace for favor, can I have it? You wouldn't say, oh, humility. Uh, no, I don't know. I'm not even sure. I, the thing is just working. You can know such as I have. Isaac knew he was carrying something. He said, make me venison. I want to release something on you. I remember the man said, kneel down. And he was praying in Yoruba. I honestly didn't care what he was saying. My own is my spirit was opened. Father, whatever agreement you had with this territory that has made you to bless them like this, living as if Satan does not exist, I receive it. When I was done, sowed into his life and honored him. When I was going to enter the car, I remember to quickly thank some women we had seen standing. And so when I got there, they now told me one of the women standing was the wife of the man, 136, who just died. Standing, not with a stick. I said, let's go back. I went and stood there. I said, please, this is my man interpreting. I said, you should help me tell her that although the man has gone, two have become one. So he's still alive in her. Can she pray the prayer you would have prayed for me? And then when he told her, the woman laughed. She tapped me. She said, come. I didn't care where I was going on. I just went. Then we entered a room and she started showing me photos of when they were young. That was the wife of his youth. You know those days they married sometimes as teenagers? The wife of his youth, sir. She was showing me the photos happily. 
And then I now pleaded. I said, please, they should tell her they've prayed for me. It's not that I have some belief, but you, they, there's nothing wrong in adding. The apostles received the Holy Ghost in Acts 2. Acts 4, they cried again and it still came. For everyone that seeketh, find it. Do you know when I asked that woman to pray for me, she smiled and I knelt down. She took up both of her shoes and on barefoot on the ground, this woman began to pray and prophesy and release that grace. When I came from that encounter, I ran back to Zaria then. I said, my people stand up. You don't know what I've come with for you. <laughs> ah, go to them that sell and buy. You can be struggling financially. You have done well in terms of productivity. You are not lazy. You have products and services. But your gift must be anointed. Just because you have a gift does not mean it will work. There are those that sell. Please don't forget this message. Go to them that sell and buy. Man of God, go to them that sell and buy. There are fake products in the market and yet there are houses when you go to you will not find one fake product because there is still a way of discerning correctness. Is that true? There's fake fan, there's real fan, there's fake speaker, there's real speaker, there's fake watch, there's real watch. There are, there are striking differences. But if at all you want to have, please give us that scripture again. Matthew 25. The wise answered, let's do 8 and 9 again so that you will see it. And the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil. Why? Our lambs. We have lambs. The lamb there stands for the word. Thy word is a lamb to my feet and a light to my path. So I have the word. God has spoken. I have the word. But the oil to power it is gone. Please help me with your own. And he says, mm -mm. Hear what the wise said. The Bible did not call them the foolish. The foolish were those who did not pay attention to more oil. You need both oil and lamb. Are we together? And because the lamb does not increase or decrease, it is the oil that needs to be added. The lamb remains consistent. Please back to that scripture. Verse 9 now. 25, 9. Matthew. But the wise answered, saying, not so. That means this is not how it is done. Do you know what that means? You don't receive from colleagues. He's saying we are all the same. What made us wise and foolish is just that we discern. So you are saying we should help you. Even though I have the oil, I can't give you. That's not how it works. You have to go to those that sell. There must be that spiritual potential difference. For as long as we are contemporaries and colleagues, there will not be a flow. Go to them that sell and buy. I can give you. I can't sell to you. But go to them that sell and buy. I had the honor of lying down quietly and I say this with every sense of reverence and humility lying down to pray in the prayer room of our father in the Lord Baba Deboe and when I lay down there I was not asking God give me things that would be a stupid prayer things you don't need to be born again to have things you just need to be wise and diligent there are things you receive that money cannot buy. And I lay down and I said, oh God, if there is one thing I'm asking, it's the covenant of answered prayer that you have had with this man. Can that grace rest upon me? See, behind every glory there is a story. Oh. Believe me when I tell you there is a story. When your man of God comes here and starts telling you the story of his spiritual sojourn. Mantles, graces that were drawn through honor. Meeting them that sell to buy. Most believers are too proud to be imparted. 
most believers are too arrogant. Unfortunately, in this our world where you can see glaring absence of results, and yet people still carry this colleague mentality. Anybody who is truly called of God and given the privilege of the anointing and really understands how God blessed him will never be arrogant towards it. Because when you know how God helped you and that he showed you mercy, even if you have to release, it is with humility of heart, acknowledging the privilege to be considered to be a steward. Everybody say impartation. Hmm. Philippians 1 verse 7. Please take it higher for me. Ah, His grace is resting here now. Philippians 1. Even as it is meet for me to think of this of you, because I have you in my heart, in so much as in my bonds, and in defense and confirmation of the gospel, it says, ye all are partakers. Partakers. You know what it means to be partakers? You are beneficiaries. Please help two people now. I just saw like dew. Just come in, even while they are seated. Just that anointing. And for one, God is saying that he's answering your prayer. That you have been praying this. No, not for, we'll do a general prayer. But this is for a particular person. I just saw like dew. Just resting on someone. You see, let me tell you the truth. When it has to do with the power of God, God responds to hunger. We may be in church like this, but there are people who just came to hear and see but there are those who came with hunger two people just saw that anointing please when that comes upon them just help them and hold them but for those people god is activating something from within your spirit man is is a dimension of grace you will begin to function in in fact for one of you you have even seen it in a dream you have seen these things happen repeatedly but when that grace and that mantle comes, this is why we come to church, so that we can receive something that is of substance. So please pay attention. I only declare as I see from the realm of the spirit that that grace, two people, when that happens, just help them and hold them. We'll do the general prayer and then God is going to grant that grace so that your life becomes an expression of the grace and the glory of God. That you find out that your life just helped this woman, please. Romans 1 and verse 11. Romans 1 verse 11. For I long to see you. I, I long to see you. Please help the person who starts running out now so he does not enjoy himself, he or she. Just help them. The power of God is coming on one person, like literally to run out. Just help them. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come the moon. This is a moon. We need a moon. Romans 1 11. For I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. I long to see you. I have desired to see you so that I may impart, not just to speak to you, to impart upon you some spiritual gift. Numbers chapter 27, please, from verse 18 and 20. This is Moses and Joshua. Numbers 27. And the Lord said unto Moses, pay attention to this scripture, Take thee Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom the Spirit of God is already upon, 
and lay thy hands 18 please keep 18 lay your hands upon him verse 19 and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight oh I love verse 20 and thou shalt put some of thy honor upon him you see that you can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is a mantle. It is transferable. Why did he put the honor on him? That all the congregation of Israel may be obedient. It takes more than shouting. It takes more than sincerity. When the mantle of honor is not upon you, a generation will not listen to you. No matter how sincere you are. You should thank your pastor for the desire to see you rise. You see, this is how you know a great shepherd. By his heart to see that every grace needed for your rising is made available for you. Are we together? Take some of your honor and give to him. Because he's now in a position where people need to hear him. It takes more than saying the truth to be heard. Take some of your honor. Deuteronomy 34 and verse 9. Let's see what came upon Joshua. 34, 9, Deuteronomy. And Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him as did the, as the, as, and did as the Lord commanded Moses. Hallelujah. In 2 Kings chapter 2, it's a long reading, but we may just cut from verse 12. The full text is from verse 1 to 15. But let's cut to verse 12. Elisha began to pursue Elijah with determination to receive something. I hope you know that Elisha was not supposed to be the next prophet. The next prophet should come from the band of prophets. But their arrogance, they were familiar. This one is just a teacher. And there was one who it was not in his prophetic destiny. No. Just because you are around the anointing does not mean you can carry no wonder respectfully speaking i will tell you many people within certain churches and christian circles never really receive the mantle upon their father a stranger will come with hunger and know that this is not just a pastor help them please whereas there can be people seated there oh this is we ate together we pray together i even clean your shoe Oh, you will never be the Please sit down. We're about to pray. Please keep that scripture for me. Second Kings. The Bible says Elisha saw it. Remember he told him. He said if you can. Please go up to verse 11. I want to show you a principle and then we'll pray. 11. We're reading to 15. Please watch carefully. And it came to pass. As they still went on and talked. That behold there appeared a chariot of fire. And horses of fire. Is that a normal human being? Is that how people leave the earth? It is appointed unto man to die once. And now a chariot of fire is coming. To come and pick a man. And parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by the whirlwind to heaven. Verse 12. And Elisha saw it and cried, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took off his clothes and rent them in two pieces. Verse 13. He took also the mantle of Elijah. You see, he took clothes. 
but he also took mantle. You can take clothes and not take mantle. Are we together? The man who is anointed can give you his car as a gift. But that is not the mantle. He can give you something. There are people who are around the anointed. But they are looking for clothes. Not the mantle. When you see the blessing of Abraham. When Abraham was blessing all the sons he had with Keturah. The Bible says he gave them gifts. But to Isaac he gave him everything he had. So what is the everything? And what is the gift? Don't worry, you don't have to bring everyone under the anointing out until I ask you so that it doesn't distract the service. Thank you. Hallelujah. Once you just manage them wherever they are, when it's time to bring them out, we can let them know. Is someone getting blessed? Let's finish up the scripture. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. 14 and he took the mantle of elijah that fell from him and smote the waters that means the water did not part for elijah it parted for anybody carrying that mantle hi please understand what i'm teaching you in the name of jesus christ where is the lord god of elijah he said and when he had smitten the waters they parted jita and tita you can reproduce any result if you have the honor to receive the mantle. 15. See what happened. And when the sons of the prophet, what a title, and it stopped there. You can be a son of the prophet and yet not be a carrier of the mantle of the prophet. They were sons of the prophet, but there was no evidence that they had carried anything from the prophet but one who was never called the son of the prophet was the one who ended up carrying that mantle 15 and when the sons of the prophets which were to view at jericho saw him they said the spirit of elijah doth rest on elisha and they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him Everyone who has mocked you and said it's not for people like you. Anyone who has said you know, based on the normal sequence of things, it should not be your family with this level of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the God who helps men, may something come upon your life this morning that will change the narrative of your destiny, of your family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say after me, in the name of Jesus Oh God, let power from heaven come upon my life. Please pray in one minute. Power from heaven. Power from heaven upon my destiny. Upon my destiny. Let power come upon my destiny. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.